Better congratulations. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think he's he's ready to go. I think if you if you ask Coach, we, if, if we had a suit up right now and get head out to the tunnel, we're ready to go right now. Um, that's just his attitude and as a player and as as a team. When you see your coach that confident and excited, it just it just makes everything well worth it. He does a great job of explaining to the seniors the importance of this. You know, playing SC for the last time at home, and it really does. It gives you chills down your back. Is there a bigger comfort level facing? The same team you faced, you, mean you faced last year pretty much when it comes to their defense? Oh, absolutely. It's getting to that point of the season where we have game film for you know, last year's game film. That's pretty crucial. And it, it is exciting whether, you, whether it's personnel or just strictly coverages. Um, it's, it's, just, it's just fun to know that you're competing at the highest level across the country this Saturday night. With how the last two games against these guys have ended, does it say, say anything could happen? Oh yeah, absolutely. I think I think you got to warp your mind of what happened last year and the year before that, and you got to come out here uh, humble, focused, and, and basically feed off the crowd. And it's going to be an amazing crowd. We know that, and uh, we just got to protect this house. Mike, what kind of uh, matchup issues does a guy like Sue Cravens pose to you guys? He's a, he's an incredible player. I mean, when you turn on the film, you see him make plays all over the field. But really, what we got to do is focus on ourselves. We're just going to control a guy like that with with you know, running the offense. That's all we can do. He is a talented player, but we also have some weapons ourselves. You had such a great game against them last year. How do you translate that into this year? Like I said, I mean, that the game from last year, it's kind of erased. Obviously, this is a new year, new personnel. We've got new guys on the field, a new game plan, and uh, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be going out there and taking one rep at a time not trying to win the game in one series and just go out there and uh, own the ball, protect the ball, and, and score and play great defense and kick the ball perfectly. Like, regardless of how these first three games have gone, is it like the season starting on new again come Saturday? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, we learned a lot in the first three games about us. We know where we, where we need to get to. We know that we are a championship caliber team, but uh, it's time to turn it on. This is conference play. This is We arguably play in the best conference. Specifically, Pac-12 South is, is one of the best conferences in the entire, entire nation. And uh, it's, it's time to play Sunday Night Football. On this past Saturday, Jordan Simone rated your athletic ability. How would you rate his athletic ability? <laughs> Some, uh, Simone, oh man, I'm trying, I'm trying to think of something quick for you, but he really is the most athletic kid, kid I've ever seen. I've seen him jump off of uh, roofs into pools. He basically <laughs> does everything that I don't do when it comes to <laughs> athletic stuff. Like, I don't know if you answered this, but just uh, how is Caleb with this week coming back? You, know, you can just look at Kalen and you get confident as a quarterback knowing you got a piece like that sitting to the left of you. He's great in protection. He's great running the ball. He's great owning the ball. He's a confident football player. And as a quarterback, as an offense, you just love knowing that a guy like that carries the weight of your football team.